Hi, um, I'm uh, making this uh, short video uh, because uh, there is an assignment for building a simulation model using Fancy. Um, I tried to make it uh, in the classroom, but very unfortunately, um, uh, I didn't able to do that. Uh, so I think uh, I have shared a screen regarding uh, discussing uh, about uh, the simulation modeling. So let me share the things. Give me a second. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, the actually why simulation studies. I'm gonna have explained the thing uh, that simulation study is because uh, we have to uh, picturize or visualize uh, the real life uh, into the into uh, like a computer screen, uh, so that we can plug and play. What uh, could we do, and uh, so that uh, we can find out. Uh, uh, the possible uh, solution uh, and we can analyze the, the possible outcomes and then we will find out the profitability, optimum profitability, productivity, uh, pro uh, productivity and uh, any, 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 any certain requirement we have and so that we can get it. So as you can see, then I have shared in uh, MSWAT uh, uh, web documents and then as you can see, simulation modeling is the process of creating, analyzing digital prototype. That's what I meant. Uh, of a physical model to predict its performance uh, in the real world. So, in supply chain simulation modeling, uh, use uh, are uh, actually so high in every aspect, like every logistics and every modeling, every decision making. You can think about like a transportation, warehousing, inventories, and all this. So, and then it actually used to help designers and engineers understand whether, what conditions and what is the ways of a part uh, could fail and uh, what loads it can withstand. And as you can uh, uh, always aware of uh, like plan A and plan B and plan C and alternative plan. So then it come from actually the simulation modeling mostly nowadays. So uh, you, just first you have to uh, uh, the visualize and, and model the, your original uh, process what is in, in the real life system and then um, uh, you have to input all the variables uh, with uh, uh, proper fit of uh, logical expressions mathematical statistics uh, and all kind of relationship build through uh, those kind of uh, you know, quantitative things, and then input all the constant and uh, and you know the movable variables, moving variables, uh, and uh, and then and you put a lot of conditions, and then you can plug and play and by uh, setting your input like a like a point, for example, point five to point seven. For example, if recession is like a hit the ten percent, then what would happen? Uh, uh, again, you can analyze this. If recession hit five percent, six percent, seven percent, all possible, then you can do the sensitivity analysis. You can do the reliability test. All sort of things you can do through the simulation. So actually, uh, there are four types of uh, simulation models. Uh, uh, work uh, in the business. Uh, one is Monte Carlo risk analysis simulations and and in simple term Monte Carlo simulation is a method of risk analysis and which is a very important thing because nowadays you have to analyze the risk in every aspect and every particular point of your business. And uh, secondly, uh, obviously the agent-based modeling and simulation uh, so an agent-based simulation, that means examine impact of the agent or system, the point uh, that you are dealing. For example, you have a wholesaler, you have a merchandiser, you have a retailer, and then you can think about the, what is the 
process, uh, particular process um, done by this particular agent, and then uh, how it can be fit in the simulation model, and where is the bottlenecks could be, and then how to release the bottleneck, and these all you have to be done in the agent supply chain, uh, agent uh, simulation modeling. And there is another one, discrete uh, event uh, simulation. It actually observes specific events that results in your vision. For example, the typical uh, technical support process involves the end user of calling, for example, like uh, system receiving and assigning the call and agent picking up the call. So a particular event you can talk about, say customer, you call a customer service uh, uh, officer and then customer service and pick the problems and then how he or she resolved the problems and how to solve the problems and how the customers uh, are thinking uh, about the problems and then how uh, 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 those who are dealing the problems, how they're dealing the problems and the, what is the possible uh, solutions and all this that have analysis. And we also talked about the system dynamics and this is a very uh, abstract form of simulation modeling. Unlike agent-based simulation and discrete modeling, system dynamic does not include specific details uh, about system. So for a manufacturing facility, this model will not factor in data about the machinery and labor. So rather businesses would use system dynamics models uh, to simulate for a long uh, term strategic level view of the, in other words, the priority is to get aggregate level inside a system. Um, so for example, a reduction of capex and ending of a product line, uh, this is how it works. So how to conduct a simulation? So you can think about uh, the describe the possible outcomes. That's what I mentioned earlier. Link each outcomes to one or more random numbers, okay? Choose a source of random numbers, then uh, it could be created a cloud so that it will create a random number. Choose a source of random number, and uh, choose a random number and based on the random number, uh, not the simulated outcome. Repeat the steps four or five multiple times, preferably until the outcome show a stable pattern. That means reliable uh, pattern. You have to find out reliable pattern. Analyzes, analyze the simulated uh, outcomes and report the results. Some disadvantage, uh, actually disadvantage means uh, you have to have a, like a, it's an expensive measures how one effect uh, one thing affect another, which is a very complex thing uh, in, in real life, and it is hard to uh, replicate the same impact in the uh, the modeling environment. And the second thing is actually you have to have a thorough thorough, thorough uh, understanding uh, is needed awareness. If you have a, like a lack of understanding of a process, and there there might be a problem. So there are some videos uh, you can, uh, I, I have mentioned uh, here, I have given the link and then you can watch and you have to find the link. So I'm sharing another one, for example. Give me a second. So as you can see, um, 
that uh, if you go to the like we are talking about the vansim.com this is one of the simulation model and most of the simulation modeling applications uh, are expensive but some of them you will get in free but i'm not sure how many you will get to the free but if you want to do something uh, good for the industry and then you need to have the pro license otherwise it will be very difficult uh, to maintain uh, because otherwise you lose a lot of uh, effect of the modeling uh, a lot of facilities from the modeling so luckily um, i did my phd from australia so from my australia uh, you know, supervisor then i'm accessing uh, the like dss version but it still it is an old it's a 2013 uh, 2014 uh, was the last i updated but now it's 2020 but for you, I'm requesting you go to the vansim.com, the free download. You'll see this kind of uh, everything, and then you'll find these download options that you need to have, like Vansim PLE, uh, probably. Yeah, which one is free actually, whatever the name it is uh, from your side. I'm not sure what uh, you can see, but which is free demo version, as you can see. So you have to select the platform, whatever platform you have. Someone is using Windows, someone is maybe the Macintosh. Yeah. So you just select it and you can give it the email address. And then if you download software, click the download software, then the, the link will go to the, your email, then click the email and you can do the rest of the things Then you can download it. So probably if I'm not wrong, then you will get 60 days. So it's enough for us, 60 days. So I think that is the way then uh, we can uh, install a uh, version. And then actually uh, we can share uh, some other window which will help you to understand then how we can uh, do the modeling things. Mm. Give me a second. Okay, so uh, this is a very simplistic model. Uh, this is the kind of window. Um, so this is an uh, DSS version, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, this is a DSS version, uh, six, when some six, probably now it's eight or something is going on. So as you see, this is in Cardinal University of Australia. Mm, so, uh, and very expensive to renovate anyway so i'm not using uh, i didn't use it like last uh, uh, few years or so so anyway uh, we just replicate one model here uh, so that you will have a basic understanding uh, so you can see you can plug and play all this uh, so it is very hard to learn all these things in a very quick time so you do not require just to make sure the way here is the model it says actually the how the rabbit population is going on so there is a this is a cloud and this is a rate what is the birth rate if you just click equation you will find rabbit population multiplied by birth rate so what is the birth rate then okay uh, the birth rate is here um, if you click here and um, it says 0 0.23 so this is the important thing then in the data input so you can use a lot of lot of way you can this is a constant model and you can use auxiliary you can use a data sheet you can use so many string or time based or uh, lookup so many so and there is a lot of uh, things to learn if you want to be an expert in simulation but you know do not need to just put something uh, constant okay plug and play at point two three you can use some functions as well you can give some ranges but 
Uh, I don't bother about this because you just uh, learning a basic thing so that you'll have a mind of how simulation works. Okay. And then, so actually, you see that this uh, actually one, two, three, four, five, uh, four variable, four things are very important tools. This is a, a variable. This is a box variable here. Uh, this is a box variable, and uh, this is an arrow you can design, and this is a rate you can design. Okay, and this is how it works actually. So okay, and. The initial population you can design, okay, when you're calculating, so what is the initial population? So you can think about, okay, they say it's 1,000. So it depends on your data again. This is just an example. And then how many of them died? What, what will be the dead, uh, death ratio? And then if you see the functions, the rabbit population divided by average lifetime into effect of the rabbit crowding on death. Okay, this is the, so average lifetime. If you see, average lifetime is eight. Okay, the units is year. So you have to design something like this, and then the effect how come the carrying capacity. If you see, like thousand, and the effect of rabbit crowding on death, for example. And now see the lookup they uh, designed here. So this is the functions they use here, um, like a, a, um, you know, the graph, uh, this is the graph uh, uh, we can say, uh, so that you can see, uh, you can use lookup, you can use graph. So when it does like x axis zero, y axis zero, if x is four, y axis two, something like this, okay. And if you just do that, okay, and it, you can go through the simulation setup and then and see, just to give you a second. And you, you, you go to the simulation control, and we always follow the standard. We do not redo anything, we just run them currently. You can put a uh, any name, for example, if you run this model 2020 January, then you can put it so that you can find out. Okay, uh, so if you put a simulate, already it has been simulated. So, and there is a result you can see uh, every particular time, and you see all the time the, how it goes uh, actually. Okay, so. If you click everywhere, if you death, how many uh, died actually, and then you can find this is how. So this is the red that it was dying every interval. So you can change a mm, simulation setup, simulation controlling, mm, as you can see. Standard is everything. The Euler, so far I know, I never use this. So it's a very high level things. You can do a lot of things here. So, okay. So you can experiment it as much as possible. Okay. So, and even if you just click here, uh, you will find the equation. But if you see the, if you want to see the loop, say the loop number one is like the, how many things are related deaths and uh, rabbit population. Okay, so you can change the things as well. As, so if you like a birth rate is we have designed uh, like two three. You can say. You can change it to three zero, okay, and
said, see the graph, it's called there. And you will definitely then, so it says the 30 years calculations. You can shrink it to like a 20 years, 10 years, it's up to you. So there is, if you put a local documentation, the, then you can find the whole documentation of the modeling. If you just click Control A, and find the documentation, the whole model will be copied like this. So choose a model from internet sources and then you get, if you get something like this, then how to model this, then you can replicate this model so that you can learn a, like a small modeling and how it works actually. Okay, can stop setup and then it will go back to uh, refresh. And I would recommend you, in fact, uh, I have shown you uh, the, uh, the word file and then I will give you the link of the PowerPoint, okay? Um, uh, sorry, I will uh, give you the, the word file so that you can find the link. Uh, so it's a very nice one to modeling. So the rabbit populations, can be changed to, for example, you can replicate it to like a mouse population, okay, or uh, any kind of like a, the cow population. So you can think, okay, you can input some extra variable and all this, okay. Uh, to put the variable, so you can uh, click here and you can click, say, uh, you can say, by. Uh, new flock or uh, new flock. So this is a variable, it didn't link yet. So you can link, for example, click here. And if you want to connect to it, so one click, two click, and so that will be. So now you will see here, sorry, if you click here, and now the problem is then that is unlike another um, just click part and see and the population birth rate because the problem will be happen that your variable is ready for the like input new flow how you will do that so you can either do that population plus input population multiplied into birth rate it depends on how you do that or you can think okay this is the new flow you can straight after but the same thing will come up then the way you can feed then you have to use these variables, whatever is listed here, okay? So, and then this is how it works. So anyway, uh, this is the one of the shortest video so that it will help you to know about this, how simulation models can be drawn. And there are so many platforms out there, but this is a simplistic platform. Uh, I think uh, you can know about your causal loop diagram uh, as you see the loop uh, say this is the loop part every population it's a loop so if you uh, see the loop is everywhere so if if you see the loop here death and there is a couple of loop two loop the death and rabbit population it's a loop and a death rabbit population effect of rabbit crowd of deaths so this is how it works so there is a loop, see the loop, see the loop, see the loop, see the loop, but there is uh, there is no loop, okay? So this is how it works. So uh, let me know uh, because we are working in a very simplistic modeling. So I will try to help you uh, if we can, um, or, uh, if you have any questions, thank you.